Welcome back to the SymPy tutorial series. In this video, we'll take a look at SymPy and how we can use limits with it. Limits are an important mathematical concept used in many mathematical operations and mathematical formula. Okay, so it's important to know how to use it. Okay, and since SymPy is a scientific computation library and can do stuff like differentiation and integration, if we didn't know how to use limits, we may be unable to complete certain operations. So that's what this video is about to teach you how to use limits in SymPy. Okay, so this is gonna be pretty short because there's just really one function that we need to cover. Okay, so from SymPy, import symbols, okay, and limit, that's it, okay? Now, what we want to do here is first create our symbol x, okay? We'll be working with this. Now, I want to apply limits on the symbol equation one upon x, okay? So let's try and do this. This is the limit function, okay? I'm gonna make an expression first, actually. I'll make an expression for one upon x, okay? Then I'm going to pass that expression in here. That's the first parameter. The second parameter is the symbol that we want, okay? Because in limits, what really is there? There's a function, a function that we're applying the limit on, then in limits, there's a variable, an unknown, that's, you know, converging to a value, okay? That's like x to zero, right? We're applying the limit zero on x. So the second parameter is actually that unknown, that symbol, okay? So over here, you can even see the uh, documentation, e for expression, z for symbol, and then z zero, the value towards which z tends to, okay? So this is gonna be an integer value and it's gonna be zero in this case, okay? I want to discuss this example, okay? So if I run this code, what's the output gonna be? As you can see here, the answer is infinity and this is correct because as x tends to zero, one upon zero is gonna be infinity, okay? That's correct. This is the very basic way we can apply limits in SymPy, okay? Now there's one more addition, okay? One different technique that we can use when applying limits is which side to apply the limit on, okay? Now some of you may be a little unaware of this because um, this is something you discuss that you learn about a bit later on, uh, depending on how much education you've gone through currently. Now this was the base concept behind limits, okay? There's actually a slight variation, a slight, slightly more advanced way we can apply limits, and that's using positive limits and negative limits, okay? Now, if you don't know what these terms are, look them up online, watch a video on them, then come back here. But basically, positive limits are when you come in from the positive side, okay, because x tends to zero, okay? That doesn't mean x's value is zero, okay? That's not the same thing, okay? If you know your basic limits, you should know this. So if x is coming from the positive side, that's called a positive limit. It's like 5, 4, 3, 2, 0 0.5, 0 0.3, 0 0.1, 0 0.00001, okay? That's a positive limit. A negative limit is when you come in from the negative side. So minus 5, minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, minus 0 0.5, minus 0 0.00001, okay? That's, that's a negative limit, okay? So obviously there's gonna be a difference when you use a negative limit and a positive limit. Let's try that out. To do this, just add in one extra parameter. To apply a positive limit, use a plus sign, okay? And let's copy this for the negative limit. And we'll just do negative over here. I'll run this now, and we'll see that there's a difference. Okay, the positive limit gives us infinity. The negative limit gives us minus infinity, because that's because one upon minus 0, 0.00000 something something will converge to infinity. That'll give us infinity, okay? So that's the basic concept behind limits in SymPy, okay? Or not really SymPy, limits are a mathematical concept. What I'm teaching you guys in today's video is just how to use limits in SymPy, okay? So hopefully you understood that and the different ways in which you can apply limits. Yeah, so do check out my other SymPy content. Do subscribe to the channel. We have a lot more content and a lot more content that's gonna be released later on as well, all right? So leave a like, leave some feedback, let me know what you thought, and I'll see you guys in a later video.